Morning everyone, happy Monday, start of another week and the halfway mark of my 40 for 40 challenge. This is day 20 of 40, so we're 50% of the way there and I'm 73% of the way to my £1,000 target. We're sitting on £730 today, so get in there, still got a way to go, but because of some very generous people, we are making very good ground. So today um, it's a round of my choosing. And I've gone with the food and drink round. So, pen and paper at the ready. Here you go. Food and drink. Question number one. What name is given to the dish that comprises of leftover food, usually potato and cabbage? What name is given to the dish that comprises of leftover food, usually potato and cabbage? It's very nice. Especially fried up for breakfast. Number two, don't forget to pause me if you need to, folks. Number two, what is the name of a pudding consisting of ice cream on a sponge cake covered in meringue? What is the name of a pudding consisting of ice cream on a sponge cake covered in meringue? Number three, in the traditional Scottish dish of haggis, neeps and tatties, what are neeps and tatties? So in the traditional Scottish dish of haggis, neeps and tatties, what are neeps and tatties? Hope you all had a good weekend, by the way. Number four, which company make the chocolate bar whisper? Which company make the chocolate bar whisper? Number five, which country is the home to Beck's beer? Which country is the home to Beck's beer? Number six, what is the principal ingredient that gives borscht soup its flavour? What is the principal ingredient that gives borscht soup its flavour? I am a big fan of uh, borscht soup. It's absolutely lovely. Number seven, which liqueur is based on a secret recipe passed down from Prince Charles Edward Stuart, otherwise known as Bonnie Prince Charlie? Which liqueur is based on a secret recipe passed down from Prince Charles Edward Stuart or Bonnie Prince Charlie? Number eight, what is the name given to clarified butter normally used in Eastern cooking? What is the name given to clarified butter normally used in Eastern cooking? Number nine, what food item was once known as a love apple? What food item was once known as a love apple? And number 10, which cereal, often used as a thickening agent, is obtained from the root of the cassava plant? Which cereal, often used as a thickening agent, is obtained from the root of the cassava plant? All right, so I'll give you some answers now to those questions. Here we go. Number one, what name is given to the dish that comprises of leftover food, usually potato and cabbage, bubble and squeak? Number two, what is the name of a pudding consisting of ice cream on a sponge cake covered in meringue, baked Alaska? Three, in the traditional Scottish dish of haggis, neeps and tatties, what are neeps and tatties? They're turnips and potato. Four, which company make the chocolate bar whisper? That's Cadbury's. Five, which country is the home to Bex beer? Germany. Six, what is the principal ingredient that gives borscht soup its flavour? Beetroot. 
Seven Witch Liqueur is based on a secret recipe passed down from Prince Charles Edward Stewart, or Bonnie Prince Charlie. That's Dram Bui. Eight, what is the name given to clarified butter normally used in Eastern cooking? Ghee. Nine, what food item was once known as a love apple? That's a tomato. And number ten, which cereal often used as a thickening agent is obtained from the root of the cassava plant? Tapioca. All right, so there you go. Food and drink done. I hope you enjoyed that round. Um, and that is the halfway mark reach. So we've got 50% of the rounds left to go. And I've got 27% of my target yet to reach. So we're on track. We're certainly making progress. And uh, I really hope we can get there. As I said before, thanks to all those who have donated up to this point. Please do ask your family and friends um, if they can afford it to jump on and donate something to my regular weekly quizzes if you haven't donated yet and uh, you can find it within yourselves to, to find a bit of money, please do pop on and uh, sponsor me and I will do you a round, just choose the subject. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, haven't decided what round I'm doing yet, but you know, I'll let you know in the morning. Uh, have a great day folks and thanks for your support as always and I'll see you all soon. All the best, bye bye.